Shalom Israel. A revelation, a word, a truth to share. A lot of times we're going on about our business and trying to do that which we believe and learn and know that the Most High God teaches us to do. And the enemy will strike, he will attack. He'll attack your weaknesses. He will attack the fact that you may be young. He'll attack the fact that you may not be as learned as the next person. Or, in my case, that you are a woman as well. And sometimes, through no fault of our own, we get wounded. I had a brother attack trying to, I guess, exalt himself. And I was trying to allow him, or I was allowing him to speak his piece and try not to be disrespectful. But at the same time, it came to a point where once we parted company, I realized that it actually hurt. It actually hurt. And it makes you sometimes people trying to stand tall, they can have a way of making you feel very small. Even to the point of making you feel like what you try to do in honor of the Most High, in honor of His Word, in honor of the House of Israel, that is insignificant. You try to brush it off, but sometimes it goes in deeper than you realize. That's the effect the brother had, and it made me question myself. I never questioned God, but it definitely made me question myself. And then, woke up this morning, and God spoke. The body has many members. But each member is significant. He told me, I, I felt amazed because I got up to commune and pray, but the spirit knew what was in my heart. And I know the message came from God because God, you never know the impact you have on a person. You never know that the hand can't say to the foot, I you're insignificant. And in the body of God, in the body of Christ, in the house of Yasharel, women matter. When the Holy Spirit came upon Mary, he surely couldn't have looked at her like she didn't matter. Right now, my spirit hurts because I tried not to be disrespectful. But the truth of the matter is, brother made me feel very disrespected and I left it alone. But the spirit came through. He's like, Vada, when you're weak, I'm strong. He talked about the fact that, uh, and I knew once he said it, that it was not under the spirit of the Most High. Your faith doesn't matter if you 
don't do certain things. It's not about your faith. And that's when I realized the enemy was in him. Because when God was talking to Abraham, Abraham believed God. And God counted it as righteousness to him. He became God's friend. It is through faith. Do we, should we, must we follow the laws and statutes, the judgments and the commands of God? Yes, we should. But brothers and sisters, you have to have faith. Your faith does matter. Whether you are male, female, in the spirit, we are one. And the spirit has many functions. The spirit gives many gifts. And I want to encourage you like I was encouraged this morning because it doesn't matter who it is. All of us get discouraged. All of us. And in my weakness, God shows through with his strength. If I don't speak the way you think I should speak, God, let me know, Vada. I'm with you. I did this. I'm the one that put you out here. A tiny little seed. Brothers and sisters, you keep speaking the word of God to one another. That tiny little seed is powerful because of the fruit that it grows. The strength and the encouragement it gives. You don't know what that seed is going to turn into. This morning, somebody, I know they were moved by God. They sent me a message. They did not know how I felt. But God knew. They sent me a message of encouragement. And it said, you are not insignificant. And I thought, oh my God. How did they know that that's how that brother made me feel? And they they used a clock as an example. And they said, when you look at a clock, you, you they were likening the clock to the body of Christ. That some parts of the clock, people notice immediately the face of the clock, the hands of the clock. So they know what time it is. So they know their direction. But those little unseen pieces inside the clock. To help make that clock function. If one of those little pieces. Falls in disarray. Or stops functioning. The entire clock is set off. The, the, the timing's off. The movement is off. And anybody following that clock or trusting that clock is led in the wrong direction because they don't know what time it is. So you are significant, brothers and sisters. In your weakness, it is so true that God's strength shows up. When I read that message... I knew God knew, and he was encouraging me. And believe it or not, even what the devil means for our bad, God uses for our good. He showed me, by the end of your weakness, I am strong and I am here. And this mission, this, this calling is not of man. I gave it to you. And you don't know, brothers and sisters, when you speak a word to one another, how affecting it is. Whoever, whatever motivated, and I know it was God, that person to send me that message of encouragement this morning, they had no idea how I felt. And it turned me around. We all fall, trust me, but we get back up. Don't you allow anybody to ever make you think that you're insignificant, that you don't matter in the body of Christ, in the body of Yeshua HaMashiach.
Because the only member that truly matters is Yah. He's the head. Yeshua HaMashiach is the head of the body, but the head over him is Elohim. So we know in the end, we are all fools high. And no matter how small you think you are, how insignificant somebody makes you feel, you doing what the Spirit of God leads you to do, moves you to do calls you to do, strengthens and keeps that body strong. You can walk around and some people think, well, I'm the head, I'm the voice, I'm the big leader. Get a toothache leader and watch how significant that teeny little tooth aching ungodly will become. The necessity of it. Don't ever think you don't matter because you are made to feel like a small part of a large body. And don't think your faith isn't powerful. I just got moved because, like I said, all the words, it felt battering to me. But I recognize sometimes we need to be humbled. So that we can hear of God, we can see the power of the Most High in our lives. So that He can solidify to us, yes, it is me that has motivated you to do this. And as long as I'm not accusing you, as long as I'm not telling you you're wrong, you keep moving forward. Don't turn to the right or to the left, go forward. And your faith is powerful. Without faith, you cannot please God. It was Abraham's faith in God that made him righteous in God's eyes, that made him a friend of God. It was faith that made Abel offer a better sacrifice than Cain. It was faith that made Joshua and Caleb Tell the tribes, tell the other ten, keep going, we can take this land. When the other ten turned around during the time of Exodus, they would not believe God. And he let them die in the wilderness. They walked around for 40 years because they had no faith. Word of encouragement, brothers and sisters. Word of encouragement. And I want to thank the brother and the sister who gave me that message this morning about being significant in the body of God. That we all matter. Whether you're a help, whether you exhort, whether you have faith, whether you're an apostle, whether you're an evangelist, whether you're a prophet, a preacher, a teacher, anything you do in honor of the Most High, and to keep his body strong is always necessary. And that one teeny little seed of a person, the power of that seed. Somebody gave a seed to me this morning. And the only reason I'm on here talking is because they followed the unction of the Holy Spirit. And the effect they had on me After being wounded by the words of that brother, their ministering healed, had healing powers in it because I know it was blessed by God. So you be blessed, you be encouraged. And when you get weak, because we all do, God will show up so strong and so powerful. Yasharel, you be encouraged. You are not alone. You do matter. And that person that puts a stumbling block in your way. They're going to answer to the Most High God. And may God have mercy on you and lead you in the right direction. It's the word of truth, brothers and sisters. We all fall, but we get back up. <laughs> and if I don't talk the way you want me to talk. As long as I'm talking the way the Most High wants me to talk, 
It's all right because I got faith in him. And without faith, you cannot please God. And because I was born a female, that was the determination of my father. And for all those males or men who want to batter down a female because she's a female, I am a servant of the Most High God. And if you have issue with me, take it up with the Most High. Because I'm not going to stop. Unless he tells me to stop, I will not stop. Be careful what you do. Because when you make one of God's little ones stumble, be careful what you do. Because he who sits high and looks low sees all things. You be encouraged, brothers and sisters. Anything you do, giving honor to God. And encouraging the house of Yasharel will not go unnoticed by the Most High God. He will lift you up. You be encouraged. You be encouraged. Speak good words to one another. Keep each other strong. Don't try to tear each other down. Because the effect you have can move God. To speak to that person. So actually you're bringing about a blessing. But it also says he's taking notice of what you did. So just because you feel smarter. Or you, you're a man. Or you feel like you got a higher position. Don't try to step on somebody else. Because you don't know what you're doing. I don't think you really know. And remember. With the apple of God's eye. You touch his anointed. Touch not mine and mine. Do mine profit no harm. Brothers and sisters, you be encouraged because I was truly encouraged this morning after feeling bad. Sometimes we think we're okay and somebody will get in. It's the tear among the weak and they'll strike at you. But God will show up when the devil comes in like a flood. He raises up a standard against you. And let your faith lead you. Because without faith, you cannot please God. Yasharel, you walk in peace and know that you matter. In everything you do, honoring God, following his word, speaking it to one another. The most high sees, he knows. Be encouraged. Shalom.